Hi, I'm Gary Bernier, Wizard of Digital at Business Growth Guy as a Wizard of Ads partner. And today I'm going to talk to you about content marketing. Content marketing is where you're creating content and that can be written, spoken, picture, video, and you're publishing it to the world so that the world can find it. Now, the cost to you of content marketing is your time. So a lot of people refer to content marketing as free, but it's not truly free because it's your time that you invest in both creating and publishing that content. There are several types of content marketing. This is why it's such a broad topic. You can blog, you can send email newsletters, you can write books, you can create reports, you can do magazine articles, newspaper articles, podcasting, CDs, DVDs, and of course, in social media, we can post on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, Pinterest, YouTube, or TikTok. So there are lots of places that you can create content today. Whatever fits you the best is where you should invest your time. Your goals for content marketing, why people do content marketing is number one, to have somebody discover the content. You've put something of value out to the world, you want them to find it and associate that with you. Then you want them to fall in love with your content. You'll know this when they like and share your content that they really do find it of high value. Um, what your goal is, is to convince them to become a subscriber or a follower so that they end up regularly consuming the content that you're putting out to the world. Next, you wanna elevate them to the next level, either to the customer level or the prospect level. You wanna bring them into your sales funnel. Once you've converted somebody to a subscriber, a follower, a customer, you wanna maintain them in that space. Why? Because you can usually get those people to buy more from you. So how do people end up finding the content you create? Well, if you're blogging, it's search engine. Somebody goes in and types in the keywords to a search engine, they may find your article. If it's YouTube, it's kind of the same thing. They may find your video by searching for something. If it's Twitter, Twitter Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, or Pinterest, it may be because of a hashtag, and I'll explain hashtags uh, in a second. It may be because you went out to the social media platforms and posted about the new content that you created for the world. And lastly, you can always advertise for your content. I'm gonna show you an example, a uh, real live example of where most of this is being done today. So tips for helping people find your content, publish consistently. All of the algorithms like it when you publish regularly and at the same time. And you also have to publish properly, which means you need to follow that platform's algorithm's best practices. And today, that means not putting links to your blog post in a Facebook post or in a LinkedIn post because what they want is people to stay on the platform. So you actually have to replicate your blog post or your content on LinkedIn or Facebook so that people stay there or you can use the first comment trick that a lot of people use. You also wanna include the right keywords as hashtags. And so a hashtag is a grouping of content. It allows people that are looking for stories that are related, and if the person is interested in related content, then the application will send them other posts that have similar hashtags so that they can see that content. It's another way of being found. So here's the real live example. We publish the Empire Builders podcast. It's published weekly at the same time. We do a whole bunch of free promotion. We do a LinkedIn post, an Instagram post, Facebook post, Twitter post, YouTube video. We send out our email to our subscribers, and this all starts with the blog post that contains the podcast to feed the search engine. So all of that is done every week. We also do paid promotion with LinkedIn ads, Instagram ads, Facebook ads, YouTube ads, and we have a full PR strategy promoting the podcast to try and get more listeners. And anytime we do anything, we're trying to get likes, shares, comments, subscriptions, and follows so that we can, again, continually talk to these people. So to help people fall in love with your content, you have to be entertaining. They only give you your time when you've given them some entertainment. So some tips for entertainment are be timely, be newsworthy, talk about something that's new, be intriguing, insightful, and informative, cover off the weird, bizarre, and the shocking, find something that's funny or humorous, sad or heartfelt, Anything that tugs on the emotions makes a good, um, makes good entertainment. Boring, unfortunately, is just boring. And 
the key, if you're doing intriguing, insightful, and informative, is answer a question that they're already asking. So once you have somebody in your, in your system, you want to elevate them. You want to move subscribers and followers to the next level, so you make them an offer. You want to let them know what the next step is in your sales process, whether that's attend a free webinar or a free seminar, download a free book, or purchase a product. Caution is being too salesy turns people off. So if you're pounding stuff too much and they, they read that there's not enough value in the content, it won't work for you. Content marketing will backfire. So you need to work your sales message in, in a subtle way. So an old adage is in your content, tell people what they should do and then sell them how to do it. In our Empire Builders podcast that's published weekly, um, they hear an offer for a free 90 minute session. After that free 90 minute session, they have to pay to move to the next step. And that's kind of how our system works. So once you've got subscribers and followers, how are you gonna keep them from leaving? You have this wonderful audience, you need to respect them with a continual flow of new high quality content, i.e. content marketing. So you need to interact and engage with them as well. You need to respond to their comments and questions. You need to give them a reason to engage. You can do this by asking questions, running a poll, or doing something special for them. So there's a number of techniques that you can do to maintain your audience once you've built it, but it's an important step in your overall content marketing strategy. So if you've liked this and you found this helpful, do us a digital favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video, I'd really appreciate that. And if you have any questions, put them in the comments and I'll respond to you there. Hey, if it's a really good question, we may even create a follow-up video just for that. Thank you for your time.